Hi everyone and welcome to Fusion 360 Monthly Challenge 2018. Joining the challenge is very easy. All you have to do is forward your full name, school or a company name together with your Fusion 360 email to autodeskcommunityphilippines at gmail.com. Let's inspect our 2D drawing. And here, our dimension is referring to this point. And our units is in inches. Heading to document settings. Selecting change active units. Changing this one to inch. Hitting OK. I'm going to start off with a circle. Hitting C. Now we are prompted to select a plane or planar face. Selecting our XZ plane. Let's drop our center point at the origin. Keying in point 5, which has an instance of 2. I know that our previous command was a circle, so I can right click, head up, and repeat center diameter circle. Dropping this at the origin. I will not input any value right now, instead, hitting enter. Next, let's move our dimension, so hovering over, left click and hold. Positioning this here, release, reselecting our dimension, right click, and selecting toggle radius. So let's change this as indicated in the drawing to 0.75. Next, instead of grabbing our line and creating three line segments here, I'm going to hit R or our rectangle, hovering over here. At this intersection, left click, moving over here, left click, hitting escape. Next, let's add a constraint between our line and our circle. So heading to constraints, selecting tangent, selecting our circle, this vertical line, our circle, this vertical line. Hitting escape and hitting D for dimension. Selecting our origin and this horizontal line, left click here to place our dimension and keying in 2.5. Hitting enter and hitting escape. Currently we have five profiles, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Let's minimize the number of profiles. I can hit T for trim, selecting the segments. And finally, this line, hitting escape. So we now have two profiles. From here, we can now hit E for extrude, selecting this profile, heading to home view. I'm going to change the direction to symmetric and change the measurement to whole length. Let's grab our arrow up and key in 1.5. Operation U buddy and hit OK. Next, let's create the feature here. I'm going to hit C for circle. So now we are prompted to select a plane or planar face. Our target is our YZ plane. And in order for us to select that plane, we can left click and hold. So notice a drop down will appear and by hovering our cursor, it will be highlighted. So selecting YZ. Let's drop our center point at the midpoint of this edge. So notice the triangle, it indicates midpoint. Left click, let's move up. Left click at the end point. Next, let's now hit E for extrude, selecting this profile. Changing the direction to symmetric or much better. I'm going to select two sides. Let's pull our arrow and this arrow over here. Next, I will change the extent of both sides to object, to object. Selecting this arrow, left click, and selecting this face. So notice we have a error. And in order for us to resolve this error, I can select the chain faces to extend faces. Next, activating object, 
under side 1, selecting this arrow, left click and selecting this face. Changing the chain faces to extend faces and finally hit OK. The reason for using extent to object is whenever the radius from our first sketch changes, the faces will automatically update tangent to the cylindrical face. For example, let's change this to 2 and selecting stop sketch, notice the face updated tangent to our cylindrical face. So hitting Control Z to undo, selecting stop sketch. Finally, let's create the sketch for our cut extrusion. We have two options. I can update the sketch to include the inner circle and the rectangle here, or create another sketch. I'm going to opt to a new sketch, so hitting C. Hovering over our target YZ plane, holding our left mouse button and selecting YZ, creating a circle here, diameter to be 0.75, hitting enter. Let's grab our concentric constraint, selecting this arc and our circle, hitting escape. Next, I'm going to hit P for project and change the filter to body, selecting this body, hitting OK, and hitting R for rectangle. Left click here and left click at the intersection, hitting escape, hitting L for line, creating a line from here up to the midpoint of this vertical line. I'm going to have this horizontally constrained. Right click and select horizontal. Next, hitting D for dimension. I'm going to select this vertical line and our origin and key in 1.6, selecting this horizontal lines, left click, diameter to be 0.5, hitting enter. So it turned into black meaning it's fully constrained, hitting escape, and finally hitting E for extrude, selecting this profiles, holding my left mouse button, selecting profile, holding my left mouse button, selecting profile, changing the direction to two sides, and from here, we can opt to change or to select all and all. Operation, cut, and hit OK. Congratulations for completing the Fusion 360 monthly challenge for June. Awesome! This video is brought to you by MSI Workstations. If you are serious about 3D modeling, simulations, and rendering, then MSI Workstations is the beast. Increase your workflow efficiency with MSI Workstations. Thanks for watching and see you in the next Fusion 360 monthly challenge.